that this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. This is a dream for a lot of mixed martial arts fans. And yourself, Daniel, a guy who at one point could have fought Fedor Emelianenko, he and Dana White on the same page. We got Fedor in the octagon. Today. I'm glad it didn't happen because uh -huh. let me tell you something about Fedor. He's unknown. He's an enigma. We all want to know what is Fedor Emelianenko? What does he look like in the UFC? We finally get to find out. We know that he has a crazy high level skill set, but we never knew how it would fare against the absolute best in the world. Tonight we find out, if I had to guess, I would think he would be just okay. And you got the sense with Fedor that he wasn't gonna wholly enjoy retirement if he did not check this box. Fedor Emelianenko at long last on the greatest proven ground in the sport. White fans have come out to see here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Avon! Heard Dean, our referee for this one. All right, early round action here as we get a look at Uzbekistan's Shavkat Rachmanov. He has taken the UFC welterweight division by storm. He's got a whole lot of momentum coming in here tonight. Believes he'll have the grappling advantage, but he also said to us midweek, if this is a kickboxing match, I think I can thrive in that realm as well. The high kick lands. Spinning back fist is there. There he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, man, these fighters are trading strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. Ooh. Nice leg kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Good shot, good shot. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. 
A strong outside leg kick. Snapped off the jab nicely there. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. It's a beautiful, fast quick jab with meaning. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Really good vision to block that one. Oh, and the hand kick lands. Just over three minutes to go round one. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect. Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice kick to the midsection. Great job moving into his opponent. He's getting to that single count. Nice shot to the head from the clinch position. He's got to start throwing down. Circling towards the left now. Get down, hands up. Slip that one. Oh! oh huge left. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that killing is tight. Straight right is there. Just out of range with the big right hand. And there's another straightest there by Rockmano. Just misses with the left hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he's doing a here. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. Nice straight right legs. Man has his chin been tested early. Beautiful right hook counter. So Mirianenko's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh, he might get finished here. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Rachmano. Twenty seconds left. Emelianenko going for the takedown here. Nothing doing that. Oh, no! oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Round two coming up next. Heading back to the corner after that round. Emelianenko's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting them over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Here soon, DC. She's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's, he's, he's as confused as he was on his first test. Oh, doing a great job here defensively, and you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it this round. Oh, he's hurt bad. He 
He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one connected. with authority the body. There you go. There you go. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come down. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Fader. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets going, he's got so many ways to finish arm balls. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. He's got to be careful here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, lands a nice straight. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than... Oh, oh he's wobbled now. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting Work. to show. Nice. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes to go in round two. Hands high, hands high. Beautiful job by the champion. Emilianenko's eye is closing up. Nice work here on the clinch by Rockmore. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up a video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to beat him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse. Big knee there to the chest. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, huge knee to the head. Ten minutes in the can. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head. 
and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that Ready. you will not be wearing the damage. Ready. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those. Oh, Smash the shot in. It's over, John. Fight's done. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue. To So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, we set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Avon. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, 